and welcome back to Dime Map Channel. If you're new to me, thank you very much for clicking on this video. I'm Chris Bilton. I was a professional jeweler for over 20 years in the UK. But I left the UK and now I'm living in Japan. So I'm here now using my skill and my abilities at the bench to make jewelry making instructional videos and put them on YouTube. So people like perhaps you, if you're learning to make jewelry, uh, people like you can benefit. So welcome. Why not click like and subscribe and all that. Right, today, this is something I've touched on in the past. Uh, just likely, I want to go in a bit more in depth to uh, show you exactly what's going on and why I do it. Uh, I may have mentioned it on a Golden Nuggets video. Um, but I've definitely mentioned it on full instructional guides because I was literally doing it and then talking about everything I'm doing while I'm making the full guides. Uh, it's about holding claws in position against a collet. So this is a collet from a previous video where I talked about two different ways to put the claws on. I can put a card on the screen if you're interested in that. Uh, I'm putting the when I hold the claws in positions, yeah, I do a little trick, something I discovered on accident. I've got a little trick with shaping tweezers to hold the claw in a really good position. I hold it really strongly in the correct position. So I'll show you up close. All right, so say I'm putting a claw on this collet, yeah. I've cut the groove on the side. Nice, flat, straight groove with a cylinder phrase so that round claw can sit in there. Now these tweezers, check them out. These ones are still a little bit closing at the end. A lot of tweezers, when they're new, you close them, they close up really parallel, really far down the, down the sides. That's not always beneficial because, like say, see the end of that claw, I have snipped that off. This is something else I was talking about, I can show you in detail now. I snipped that off, so you end up with like little facets on the end. That, when you're positioning that on your collet, you can't have it right on the edge because when you file it flat, that little bit, if you've got a little chamfered, little tapered edge going up the side of your collet, it's, uh, it's no good because you, you want that nice straight side all the way down to the bottom. So that little tapered edge has to go over the end a little bit when soldering on. So that's something I'm always careful to check I'm doing when I hold it in position. So with that little tapered bit over the edge, so once that's soldered on and uh, I file it back, I've got nothing but a nice straight sided claw right down to the bottom. There's no risk of that tapered edge going up and ruining it. But the problem is with that little bit over the edge and then with your straight tweezers, when you hold it on there, it can be prone. It's a very minimal amount, but it can be prone to tilting the claw back a little bit. So you end up with a bit of a gap up there, a little bit of a gap there, which can be a problem because you may have been very careful to get it nice and straight, phrase it in just the right amount for the stone because we were working in like tenths of a mil really for getting the claws in the correct position and the correct distance away from the stone. Uh, so that can balls it up a little bit, you can almost see that. It's just pulling a gap there. Can you see that gap? Oh. So, um, so yeah, it pulls the claw back because what's happening is... I'll tell you what, I'm going to draw it on my whiteboard and show you. I hope this is clear. Right, so these, these tweezers, the black lines, black sharp points are my tweezers, yeah? And all this red would be the collet. So that's, that's the claw being pushed against the side of that collet, yeah? And that one's going in the hole under the bottom of the collet. I hope that's obvious. Uh, so these tweezers represent the ones that just close up flat. So once they're opened a little bit, they don't open flat, they're not like parallel pliers, they open like that, they scissor open. So what's happening is there's a bit of an angle there, they're going down tapering like that. So with that little bit of edge sticking out there, it's pulling that claw slightly, slightly out. See, so they haven't opened up parallel, they've opened up like scissors so it's pulling that claw out and that one's holding holding that in position and then that one's going out slightly so you end up with a little gap there which i just showed you um yeah i'll show you how to fix that if that's happening all right so i'll see if i can hold this in position as i would if i was soldering it so tape a bit over the edge imagining my first solder is going to be that top bit behind the claw so i don't want my tweezers all over it so that means i'm holding the tweezers holding it with the tweezers only on the bottom half Easier said than done. So, it's very minimal. I don't know if you can tell, there's a, I can squeeze it a little bit and that claw moves. So if I hold that, sorry, the claw slid up a little bit there. Now with these ones, I put the hooked side inside so that flat one runs up the side of the claw. So there's, I, don't, I do that because I don't want that point if it's only touching from the point, there's a chance it damages the claw, especially when it's getting very hot. So yeah, the hooked one goes inside, 
flat one runs up the side of the claw. Holding it from the bottom. I mean, it feels more secure straight away. And that movement is gone. It's like it's holding it nicely in position. And you can vary how much you want to hook it. That's, that feels much more secure on there now. So it's holding it more strongly in a better position. It's not rocking out slightly. Okay, so that's it. Little trick, might help you out one day. And there's a chance like you phrased it slightly wrong. You can, you could hook it and helps hold the claw a certain direction, especially like I tell you what we're doing repairs. Sometimes there isn't metal to cut in a little bit more and pull the claw out. Because sometimes you're repairing stuff that wasn't made correctly in the first place. So you're repairing it better to how it was when it was new. And uh, just might be a bit thin, might be a bit worn out and you, you can't cut things a bit more. So hooking tweezers in, you can cheat a little bit by squeezing a claw tighter at the bottom. So it comes out a little bit and then you have to put more solder than you would really like to, than, than is ideal if you're making it from new and it got that, got everything joining up nice and tight. If for any reason, you've got to have a bit of a gap to get the claw at a better angle. Uh, you can you can hold things quite well by doing that in the in the correct position and then just add a bit more solder than you normally would um, so yeah it can help you out like it's worth knowing about hooking one side of your tweezers so yeah it's worth knowing that's why I wanted to highlight it with this uh, video today um, that's what this channel is all about I'm just sharing little things I've learned over the years so uh, I hope hope it's all useful to you right okay right I've got some uh, new patrons let me get my list Right, some awesome people over the last week have become patrons. We have got Elisa Tarantino, uh, Veronica Manley, Ellen Atkinson, Josh Cheel, Lee Gaynor, Bill Daniels, and a new one today, Karen Jansen. So thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate you becoming a patron. Really helps me out doing more on this channel. Um, I'm not teaching English anymore, so I've got a little bit more time than I had before. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm becoming a bit more free Certainly over the next month I can do a lot more and what, I'm, what I've just recently said to the patrons as well I'm gonna spend a bit of time uploading more like short like useful videos to people uh, Maybe like just a month just doing videos like this and then I'll get back into doing full instructional guides because I feel like that's They are the most valuable to people because otherwise without me doing them for this small amount for the patrons People end up looking to pay like for really expensive like online courses. and They're not worth it I may I did get a message from a patron ages ago uh, saying like she regretted not finding my channel sooner because she'd already been on two it was very expensive jewelry online courses and they didn't really teach her anything so she learned a lot from my even the free stuff on YouTube she said she learned more from that than she did like on, on paying loads of these courses so yeah watch out for what you're paying for maybe if you do want to if you're tempted to go for another jewelers course like by all means do it but maybe check out some reviews of what other people are doing and really find out what they're looking at because i've looked at a few and knowing what i know just their title pages i can tell they're not real jewelers and everything there's not actually any photos of anything they made it's all just like cad images like renders uh i want a bit more confirmation than that before i start handing over money so i, I would suggest like take your time be a bit clever uh do some research find out try and get in touch with other people that have uh, taken the course and find out exactly what they're teaching because I expect some people are just making money, <laughs> not giving you anything of any value. Uh, anyway, right, okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs>